If I was having the fun of putting an aviary together, what parrots would I put in it? Especially, let's say I wanted to kind of keep it simple, keep it good for my parrots. What species would I use? Hey guys, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrotless Bond, a couple other books. I'm going to make a list for you at the end of the video. My mission is to help you have a more blissful bond with your parrot, reducing the need for rehoming and rescues and increasing your fantastic, phenomenal, and blissful experience with your feathered friend, no matter what size your friend is. I have over 22 species of parrots, so I know a thing or two, and I love talking to you about parrots. Today, if I had a big aviary, I do have one flight cage that's like a double, and so it's like, Oh, I'm going to say four feet wide by like maybe two feet. And then I'm going to say it's three feet tall. That's a pretty cool aviary for something like that needs to fit in your house kind of thing. And the truth is at four feet wide, it sort of takes up a wall and kind of dominates most of my rooms. Whether I put it out front, out back or in a room. Who would I put in an aviary like that? Or let's say I made the aviary a little bigger because after all, every time you add one bird, you have to increase the size of the aviary. Well, if I had an aviary filled with parrotlets like my little piranha here, this is Frenchie. And Frenchie, she's not hurting me. Ow. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. Are you trying to get my attention? Okay, I'm putting her on my knee. I, she like scratched my nail polish off. Fortunately, she didn't eat it, but little Napoleons, they don't need a sword. It's built into their beak, right? Yeah, yeah, you're trouble, you're trouble. Would I have an aviary filled with parrotlets? Actually, I do. I love it, I absolutely love it. Why? Because Parrotlets come in a lot of colors. Maybe I'll try to show you a few. Some of my favorite colors are like white, white with a little blue. Uh, Frenchie is like a blue gray. I love her blue gray. There's more of a blue blue, isn't there? Mine, because I bred some of my parrotlets, mine are similar. There's like lemon, they call it, there's all this is American yellow. It's yellow, but um, American something. It's really pretty. And then I have this one that's like um, just a Picasso of colors. Really pretty in greens and like lemony greens. I love that. Like shades of lemon and lime. I love that. Um, and then of course there's green green. The lemony is very different. Love those. Would I do a pair of an aviary? Absolutely I have. Another one, budgies. I do not have an aviary filled with budgies, although I do have a small aviary with just three budgies, two cockatiels, and one red rump. And that is a smaller little aviary. I think it's considered a flight cage. A flight cage, the idea is that they can fly in there. They can open and spread those wings, but you know, they're not flying real far. Now, in the wild, my friend A told me that cockatiels and budgies. I don't remember if this is true of the red rumps. They fly far and fast in a straight line. So the ideal thing for them is probably to let them out of the aviary and let them just whoosh, fly around like that. But they are in a cage or little aviary that is like two, two and a half feet wide I think a foot and a half deep, and then I'm gonna say three feet tall. It's not bad, and they use some of that space. Generally, parrots use a lot of um, vertical space, but when there's some horizontal space, for example, the parrotlets will use that. So I'll make different levels, and that way they sort of get more space because they kind of go like this. Um, I'm sure you already know this, but budgies come in literally a rainbow of colors. I don't think there's a color that budgies don't come in, including purple. I've seen purple. 
maybe red red might be an exception but there's like you know blue and purple and yellow and um green of course and and then different shades of that i love the beach budgies the beach budgies they're like a powder pop my new budgie oz what color is oz <clears throat> oz is sort of like a, a cloud white with a little gray lining <clears throat> and some light blue fluff very very cute very sweet so <clears throat> i like having a small little um aviary with australians that works but in my wildest dreams i would have an aviary the size of the room i'm in so what you know i don't know say say 10 by 10 feet i think my room's a little bigger but you know 10 by 10 by 10 or something that would work right filled with um some budgies and or some cockatiels oh absolutely as a matter of fact i would at that point look at you know maybe a red romp or two in there i like pears maybe a turquoise parakeet uh yeah i would see if um oh i would i would add I, my friend said that princess parrots here we often call them prince of wales and they, they have a really long tail so i'd have to make sure i have a big enough space but throw in one or two of those maybe you know that that would be cool the third aviary that i would create and i don't have an aviary of these but i do love them this little girl she just keeps popping back pop pop the third one i would do is an aviary of linnies i love linnies they are so cute they are so sweet hello hi larkspur what are you doing are you hiding larkspurs they're hiding under the sheepskin um but you know the linnies they're so cute i love their sounds they make like a little cooing sound and of course the linnies they're kind of interesting because they come they really only come in a couple different colors but those colors come in a light a normal or medium kind of thing and then a dark so for example they come in green and there's lemongrass is a really pretty green let's let me see if i can Hey, lemongrass, come here. Oh, no, lemongrass got away from me. Um, but they they come, for example, in olive. The olive is really pretty. And then the green, and then like a lighter green. And same with the blues. Uh, there's oh, there's just pretty colors. There's, there's like a light blue. Come here, sweetie. No? That'll do, that'll do, yeah. Hi, sweetie, hi, come here, Prussia. There's Prussia, again, there's Larkspur, so there's like two shades of blue, and then that is um, Magnolia, and the gray, you know, there's also gray, you know, there's also a charcoal gray that's really pretty. <gasps> Um, lemongrass just complained because I just brought lemongrass over. I think lemongrass is a really pretty green. Then there's, you know, they also come in like a cremino, which is a yellow. And there's like a dark yellow and a light yellow. Um, and <clears throat> a really pretty mauve, kind of like a dusty grayish purple. Oh, and the thing is, like I said, linnies, they are, look at this. Hi, guys. Hi. They're just so cute. They're so curious. And I love their sound. So there you have three aviaries of small birds that, you know, if you have the room, like even in an apartment, that would totally work. They're not too loud. They're totally cute and adorable. I just adore them. Now, my four linnies that I've showed you, they are in a cage together. And that cage is also, it's a different kind of flight cage. And it is like, mm, I'm gonna say three feet by almost two feet by two feet. So there's plenty of room for the four of them. If I wanted to add any more, I would certainly 
have to get a bigger cage. Um, I wouldn't, you know, they, they like to have their own space and they are partnered off because everybody likes to have a best friend or a mate. So they do partner off, but you can see that before Magnolia was here with me and now Lemongrass is with me, um, they still stay friendly if you spend time with them. So there you have mm, three of my dream aviaries. A fourth would be larger and that would be uh, Puria Conyers, which are green cheeks, um, the black caps, crimson bellied, my blue throats, you know, those, oh, I love parrots, what can I say? All right, if you have any questions, please be sure to post them down below. If you have a piranha, let me know what your piranha, I mean parrotlet's name is. You know, you're over a year old. You're supposed to stop the biting. Uh-huh. She's actually been really sweet. And now, oh, she's hungry. She didn't get birdie breakfast because she came out of her aviary when I was giving breakfast. So now she's saying, I'm hungry. And I'm like, I fed you guys. <laughs> okay, so check out my links below or keep watching and I'll give you a little more info. Okay, can you see all four linnies? Oh, one just went behind me. There's Larkspur, and down there in the ocean beach scene are Magnolia and Crush. In case you guys don't know me, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrot Bliss Bond. That was my first book, all about helping you create a blissful bond with your parrot. Number two is Get to Know African Gray and Cape Parrots. Number three is Feathered Splendor. You can see that it's a larger book. And I did it this way because it's a full color book, full color pictures. There is information on 20 species and then there are pictures of over 40 different species. What that means is, for example, I think there's like um, five, six different species of macaws in my book. I use my books and my new coloring books to help support my flock because as you know, and as you can imagine, taking care of my birds is the utmost importance to me. My daughter makes awesome designs and I do some designs too for t-shirts. So if you wanna support my mission, please be sure to check out my links below. Down there, I support as best I can my very favorite rescue, which is Bird Gardens of Naples. You can buy things from my store that supports us at shop.parablist.com. You can become a YouTube member. That is a great way to show some support. Or you can buy one of my books or coloring books on Amazon under KB Raphael. Thank you for watching. By watching you also, by watching and giving me one of these in a comment, you also support me. I really appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you next time.